you are provided with sorry de cut out the following tests and uh, record your observations and inferences in the spaces provided place all the solid e in a boring tube add about 10 centimeters cube of dilute nitric acid warm the mixture and then allow it to stand until all the solid dissolves add about 10 centimeters cube of distilled water to the solution and shake retain the solution for test b and c so we are adding dilute you are adding uh, dilute nitric acid to a uh, salt e that you don't know so we expect that this the, the salt could be something like a carbonate uh, so we expect to see a vevacence because we are adding an acid that is the expectation that we will see a vevacence or you will not see a vevacence so whenever you are adding an acid to a given solid you are adding an acid just expect a vevacence if there is no vevacence then it means there is no carbonate inside there or a sulfite so for this one the observation was that uh, there is no ever sense so if there is no ever sense it means that the, the carbonate the sulfite is absent if there was a vapor sense, then the carbonate and the sulfite is present. That is the observation number one for adding the acid. And after that, you were supposed to add water. What happened? Did the solid dissolve to form a colorless solution or which color? Whatever, what was the color after dissolving in water? So for this one, that is another observation you need to make. So read E, dissolve. E dissolves to form a blue solution. So E dissolves to form a blue solution. Once a blue solution is formed, don't think it twice. That one simply means the copper two ions are present. That's what it means. Use about 10 to centimeters portion of solution obtained in 3A for each of the following tests. To the first portion, add 2 to 3 drops of aqueous barium nitrate. We are adding barium nitrate. Remember, we have talked about barium nitrate. We expect a white precipitate or no white precipitate. So for this case, there was no white PPT. No white PPT formed. You can say formed. No white PPT formed. So if there was no white PPT formed, then it means there was no carbonate, there was no sulfite. Of course, to make a we have we have said that these ones were absent. So here now what we are, what we are remained with, we are going to say that there is no sulfate. This one is absent. The salvate ion is absent. Right? Because now we are not going to again write the carbonate or the salvate here that it is absent. Already we have said up here that it is not there. Therefore, we write this one is absent. That shows majority and understanding of the concepts. To the second portion, add two to three, uh, three, two or three drops of aqueous lead nitrate. We are adding lead nitrate. Now remember from here we have said there is no carbonate, there is no so let us see the observation here. When we added lead nitrate, when you are adding lead, remember you expect a white precipitate or a yellow precipitate. Like I said on the other, the, other, the other video, lead iodide. If there was iodine inside there, it would form lead iodide, which is a yellow precipitate. If there is a chloride inside there, it would form lead chloride. So let us see the observation. No yellow 
PPT formed. So if there is no yellow PPT formed in them, it means that the iodine ions was absent. No white PPT formed. Now, if there is no white PPT formed, then we say there is no chloride ion. Chloride ions was absent. Sometimes you can even say bromide ion because bromide ions also formed a white precipitate with lead. Absent. These two ions were absent. Now, the question is, why didn't I say the sulfate, the sulfite, and the carbonate? It is because already from the above uh, experiments, we have already said that this, the salt, the carbonate, the sulfite, and the sulfate are not there. Therefore, we are not going to repeat ourselves. We only include the, the anion or the cation that we have not mentioned. Therefore, this means this chloride is absent. To the third portion, add aqueous sodium hydroxide dropways until in excess. We are adding sodium hydroxide until in excess. Sodium hydroxide until in excess. Ah, uh, the blue PPT for a uh, blue PPT is formed, uh, which does not dissolve or insoluble. Insoluble in excess. So a blue precipitate is formed which does not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. Therefore, that confirms that that also tells you that it is the two co copper two ions are, pre are present. So long as it is a blue precipitate, it confirms copper. Copper two ions are the only ions which are blue in color. Place about 3 centimeters of aqueous ammonia in a test tube. To the fourth portion, add all of the aqueous ammonia from the test tube dropwise. Place 3 centimeters of aqueous ammonia in a test tube. To the fourth portion, add all aqueous ammonia from the test tube dropwise. So dropwise. So if you are putting drop or you are adding dropwise, don't expect them to tell you until in excess. Dropwise, you put it dropwise and then you end in excess. That is the expectation of you. So here, a blue precipitate, a blue PPT is formed. Uh, it is started to dissolve in excess. To form a deep blue solution, a deep blue solution that tells you it is copper two ions that are present. So when you find things repeating themselves like this, don't worry, you are very fine. You are just doing the right thing. To the remaining solution of solid of solid E in the boiling tube, add all solid G provided. Shake the mixture for about two minutes after which after the mixture after, filter the mixture into a boiling tube. Retain the filtrate for tests one and Roman two. Uh, so a blue solution. The, remember the blue solution, so the DE formed a blue solution. Now the blue solution, the observation is that the blue solution changes to green. Changes to green. So if the blue solution changes to green, it means that the the the, 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 the the copper ions has been displaced. Displaced by what? What is green? The green is the ion 2. Therefore, it means that copper 2 uh, has displaced. It's been displaced by G. Uh, then, 
a brown residue is formed. It all remains brown residue. Uh, and then another thing is that uh, after filtration, we have a green filtrate. A green filtrate. And then you also can add that CU2 positive reduced. Reduced by G. To about 2 cm portion of filtrate, add aqueous ammonia drop voice until in excess. We are adding the aqueous ammonia, that is sodium hydroxide, drop voice until in excess. Then green PPT is formed, which is insoluble. Insoluble in excess. Insoluble in excess. That one is iron 2. Present. Iron 2 is present. To the to about 2 cm portion of the filtrate, add 2 to 3 drops of dilute hydro, hydrogen peroxide solution. Hydrogen peroxide solution. So green solution changes to brown. So a green solution changes to brown. So that means uh, iron 2 has been oxidized. Oxidized to iron 3. Because ion 3 are the one which are brown. So you can say ion 3 uh, formed. Ion 3 formed. And if you expect a viva sense, you expect a viva sense. Yeah, you don't have to put anything there. Yeah. Uh,